okay, so you know it gets easier. I mean, sometimes it's harder, <laughs> but but the tools are getting are getting more and more accessible. We can make a lot more video. Uh, we can shoot it, um, and there are more and more tools out there uh, for making stories. So that's one. Uh, a second is that I think we are now very concerned about how people use technology. We're worried about misuse of technology. We're worried about bullying and abuse online, for example. And I think making stories will become very attractive uh, as a way of learning technology. The third thing is uh, I think we will see more connections between gaming and storytelling uh, as gaming becomes more and more, well, it's, it's hugely popular, but we'll discuss it more and we'll learn it more. Um, a fourth thing to think about is augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. So, um, you know, to have a story that takes place in a room, there's a, a, a Microsoft game for the uh, HoloLens where you sit down and you put the goggles on, right? And one of the characters sits next to you and talks to you. That's interesting. Uh, and we have to figure out how to do this. My favorite example is uh, there's a little app for a, a horror movie, not a very good horror movie, but it's mm -hmm. clever. They had, you would sit down, like you and I actually, you'd be sitting down and in front of you would be a person, an old woman, telling you a story. Okay, that's good. But you could hear things and you keep hearing things moving behind you. And you keep turning around. And, Excuse me, you want to get, and like, What's is that? something happening? Yeah. yeah, yeah so that? maybe we're discovering how to tell stories with that. And I find that very, very exciting. Um, and I think we will look back over the past 10 years and say that we lived through a creative renaissance and we will appreciate that. Hi, uh, my name is Brian Alexander. Uh, I'm a futurist who works in higher education and technology. I live in the United States and I've just been enjoying this excellent Congress. Uh, there are a few things about it that I do recommend. One is that uh, the content is very rich and very engaging, ranging from practical workshops to some really inspiring keynote speakers. Second, there is a lot of demonstration technology people can use. So I was out there playing with some uh, virtual reality tools before. People were teaching me it and helping me use it. And that's really engaging. I've seen a lot of teachers teaching other teachers how to use technology. Uh, third is that the, the mood is very positive, that people here are very uh, engaged, they're very optimistic, and they're thinking hard about what to do next. So that's, I find, very satisfying. Um, and uh, fourth, the food is really good. <laughs> so I, I would strongly recommend in 2017 coming back. Um, I, I hope I can come back myself, and uh, I hope you do too.